Hey guys, what's up? It's Ariel R32 here, bringing you guys a brand new video. As you can see, it's my Asus inspiring innovation screen again. Um, um, but what I wanted to tell you guys is just a few updates. Um, as you know, I've had my computer since Sunday, and I've been working with my computer in order to try and get it to work. In case you guys don't remember, I had a cracked version of Bandicam. It was like the full version and everything. Well, the problem is, is that they patched the old way that you could do it, and now there's a new way that you can do it, but I can't get that way to work, so, um, yeah, so I'm having trouble doing that, so I'm probably just gonna have to buy the full version of Bandicam, and also, I think I may need to get a new recording headset, because, in case you guys don't know, I use the Dragon Naturally Speaking headset, but I can tell from, like, the little green bar that appears on ScreenCastleMag.com that it doesn't really pick up my voice well, and I noticed that in my it's back video when I was saying, you know, my PC's back and everything, that you guys really cannot hear my voice that well, which is why I kind of have to speak up with this headset, which I don't want to do. Like, I want to be able to talk at, like, a normal voice level. Um, but there is one thing I want to show you guys real quick, and it is a Let's Play that I want to start of... Wait for it. Yes! Wait. I have to wait for it to load... Yes! An old Pokemon game! Um, but yeah, so let me know in the comments below if you guys want to see something like this. Um, I think it'd be pretty cool to do. And, um, it's like, it's one of those old classic games. So, just let me know in the comments below or with the likes or something if you guys want to see that. I think that would be a lot of fun to do. And it would be kind of a long Let's Play, so, just to kind of get that out of the way. Um, but, for today's topic, I want to talk about this. The Fire Fist Deck. And the reason why I want to talk about this is for YCS Miami, since that is coming up. And the reason why I'm talking about it is because, should we really be worried about this deck? Like, I mean, it's essentially a beast stun deck with a few, I guess you could say, cute tricks. Um, <laughs> You know, tanky, I mean, essentially they have their own rota. Um, and in case you can't tell, this is the second place version of the deck from um, Chicago. But, um, I mean... Diamond Dyer, I mean, it's a it's a good card. I mean, first of all, I wouldn't price it at forty dollars. I think it's more of hype. But I mean, it's it's meant for one type. You know, it's good for wing beasts too, for harpies, of course. But I haven't really done a lot of research on harpies. But once I do, um, I will definitely be bringing a true insider on that and giving you guys my two cents uh, on whether or not you should be worried about the deck. Um, but uh, today I'm just going to be talking about Fire Fist or Fire Formation, whatever it is you want to call it. So, in case you don't know what Brotherhood of the Fire Fist Tiger King does, he's essentially their main exceed. When he's exceed summon, you can set a fire formation spell or trap card directly from your deck. So, he has a really broken dust tornado effect. So, you could take a fire formation card like Tenson, Tenken, or Tensu, or Tenki, and you can place them in your back row. And then, on top of that, once a turn, you can detach and see material from him, negate the effects of all face-up effect monsters currently on the field, except Beast Warrior type, until the end of your opponent's turn. When this card is sent from the field of the graveyard, you can send th three face-up fire formation spell or trap cards you control to the graveyard, especially on two level four lower Beast Warrior type monsters, with the same attack from your deck in face-up defense mode. So, you play three ten key, send all three to the graveyard, get out this guy, and, or I'm sorry, not get out this guy, uh, get out too. So, since all your monsters are Beast Warriors, you'd only be negating your opponent's effects, unless they're, unless it's like a mirror match or something. And, um, I mean, I think once the hype dies down, I think this deck is going to be a little bit budgety. Because, if you look at the prices right here, like, the highest it goes for is like 30. The average is like 20. The low is like basically 15. I mean, you could probably easily pick up Brotherhood of the Firefish for like 15 to 20. And Diamond Dyer for maybe 30 to 40. And I think that this is more just because of hype, because, I mean, you can target a Beast, Beast Warrior, Wing Beast type, you control, and one of the cards on the field and destroy it. So, it, it has an Icarus attack effect, so, I mean, it's definitely good for Black Wings, it's definitely good for Harpies. Um, but I think once the hype kind of dies down a little bit, I think um, we will see a drop in price on Diamond Dyer. Kind of like how Gear Gigan X was, you know, the price went up, uh, they won a YCS, it went up, but then after that, they kind of just fell off the map, and... The price really went down on Gear Gigan X. That's why it's only like twenty to thirty dollars now. Um, and just to, I want to go over Tenki, Tensu, Tenken, and Tensin for a second. Um, so Tensin, when he's activated, you can target a Beast Warrior type monster you control. Gain seven hundred attack, so it has a Horn of the Phantom Beast effect. Uh, its attack remains even if this card leaves the field, and then all Beast Warrior type monsters you control gain three hundred. So 
you can have a Beast King and a Bear on the field. You activate Tencent. Uh, both Barbaros and Brotherhood are going to gain 300. And on top of that, the monster that you equip with Tencent will gain an extra 700. So Bear can go from a 1600 to a 2600 just because of Tencent's effect. And plus, combining that with Horn of the Fan Beast, I mean, you have a pretty big beat stick. And obviously, you're not using skill drain, but the, even the 1900 Beast King can get over most stuff in this format. So essentially, what the deck is going to want to do is put out big beat sticks and big exceed monsters in order to get over all the opponent's mishmash of stuff. And it can go into rank fours like no other deck, pretty much. I mean, next to wind ups, but I mean, even them that once they run out of their level fours, they're pretty much screwed. Um, next thing is Tenken. Um, did I forget anything about Tenken? No, I did not. Okay. Tenken, um, you can only activate him during your main phase one, so if I'm correct, Abyss Sphere is just like this. Um, don't quote me on that, but, um, I, I think it's kind of like Abyss Sphere. And, uh, when he's activated, you can target a Beast Warrior type monster you control. During this phase, its effects are negated, so which means you can target Beast King, and it becomes a 3,000 attack beat stick. Very nice. Um, also, it is unaffected by the effects of cards other than this card. This applies even if this card leaves the field, all Beast Warrior type monsters gain 300. So, if this is on board, and this is on board, as I said before, all your monsters become big B6. Activate this on this, have this on board, equip it to him, so he'll gain an extra 1,000 just from this. All your other Beast Warriors will gain an extra 300. His effect, they'll all gain another 300. So you're looking at about almost an over 5,000 attack Beast King, because he gains 1,000 from this. So that's 4,000. And 300, that's 4,300, so just over 4,000. Um, and if you have multiples of these, plus with Horn of the Phantom Beast, you're looking at a pretty huge Beast King. Plus with Triple MST and all that, you um, uh, you get to be able to get rid of their back row, so you can be able to get off your stuff, plus with the huge revolution in Starlight Road. Um, but that's if you get all this. Um, would I expect it at YCS Miami? Absolutely. Do I think it's going to win? Absolutely not. There are other decks out there, like Dino Rabbit, that can be able to defeat the deck like that simply just with Macrocosmos. This deck relies so, so much on the graveyard. If you think Windups rely on the graveyard, and Merlantians rely on the graveyard, just watch a Fire Fist match on YouTube or something, and you will see that they rely on the graveyard. Um, for example, Tenkin, as I just said. Um... They're Tensu, um, no, not Tensu too much, uh, let's see, Tenki, do, 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 do. I, I've only read these like once or twice, um, but Tenki is essentially their Rota, um, moving on to Tenki. Uh, when he's activated, you can add a level 4 lower Beast Warrior type monster from your deck to your hand. All Beast Warrior type monsters you control gain 100, you can only activate one Fire Formation Tenki per turn. So, that just prevents it from going, oh, I'm just gonna go Tenki, 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 search all three Barbaroses, herpa derpa 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 And then Tensu, um... You uh, you can only gain his effect once per turn. During your main phase, you can only summon a Beast Warrior type monster in addition to your normal summoner set, and all Beast Warrior type monsters gain 100. So you can activate a Tensu and a Tenki, and um, all your monsters will gain an extra 200. So like I said, it's all about the big beaters. Uh, you can look up the rest of these cards on like Yu-Gi-Oh! Wiki, or even just build this on DN, and um, you know see for yourself how the deck works. Personally, I'm going to um, maybe test this out with some live commentaries over DN, I'm getting really tired of the end of di uh, blah, 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 of dueling network though because it's just it's so aggravating like just having to argue with idiots on DN that don't know the rulings when you clearly know what you're talking about and they don't and the trolls it's just god it's annoying if you ever play me on DN my screen name is codexp97 please don't don't be a troll like I'm just here to play test like I I don't even take um dueling network series anymore I believe it or not I actually kind of did <laughs> When I had my Swagger 96 account, yeah, that's right, I got some swag. <laughs> but um, I had almost a 1,000 rating on that account, and it I, I don't know how, don't ask me, but it somehow got hacked. And apparently, when I went on the Dueling Network forums and I asked the admins if they could give me back my account, they said no. And I asked for it, and they said apparently I was rude and cursed out about 10 admins or so. So that just tells you, however someone hacked my account, must have known me pretty well or something, but as far as my memory serves me, I never gave my information on my YouTube channel to my um, Swagger96 DN account, but that thing's permanently banned, which sucks, but it's no big deal. You know, I just, I mainly use this for playtesting, but it seems like every time I go on DN, I always got to deal with an idiot who doesn't know his rulings, or a troll, which even then I just 
whip out this, and I just troll them right back. Or I love uh, trolling a troll. Like, they'll say, no six samurais, and I'll go in, and I'll just keep on drawing, and I'll say, don't worry, it's not Exodia. And they'll just be ready to troll, because they might go first and play six sams, and they'll say, no six sams. So they'll be playing six sams, and then I'll just play this and be like, yeah, you just got trolled, troller. <laughs> so, um, but anyways... I think that's pretty much it for the Fire Fist deck, you guys. If you guys have any questions, please let me know. I'm not an expert on it, so, you know, don't be asking about, like, rulings and stuff. I'm not a huge, huge expert on it. I just know that this deck essentially acts like a beast stun deck. And it kind of it kind of has the same build, too, you know, with the pots and all the traps and everything. So, it has... It's a better version of beast stun. Um, so, yeah, I think that is pretty much it. Um, it just uses all the fire formation cards and stuff, which are a lot better than having to use, like, TKRs and stuff. Um, but yeah, I think that's pretty much it for this video. If you guys enjoyed, I would appreciate a like, and, um, let me know if you want to see a Pokemon Red version Let's Play.